Hey guys, in the continuation of our how-to series on how to install SB3 coatings, uh, we're gonna talk today about Alpha, which is a five-year ceramic coating. Um, hydrophobic, glossy, somewhat scratch resistant, chemical resistant, graffiti resistant, you name it. Um, flash time on this is gonna be between 60 and 90 seconds approximately. But as always, you know, you're also gonna see us working adjust to your conditions. Right now it's 75 in here with 39% humidity. So we have a little bit more work time than if you have a significant heat or humidity problem in, in your shop. All right, so um, what, what you'll see probably as I'm talking is that we did a correction on this, a two-step correction on this hood. Um, so as we do corrections, we typically use SB3 ready to wipe the panel but I like to go one more time with a couple spritzes of SB3 Ready before I get ready to coat. So I use a, typically use a microfiber a Korean plush or a microfiber towel from Auto Fiber. Um, SB3 Ready, this is a 32 ounce, but they're coming out in a 16 ounce sprayable bottle. So that's a great thing to have a little, uh, have in the backup. And so you don't have to use these things, but th this is what I use for now. Um, more to come with that. A couple sprays on this. And, you know, I'm just wiping down the panel. This is a solvent based uh, panel prep. And this is better than using alcohol. You might have heard alcohol in the past, but the solvent based is better. <clears throat> and so that's what we use. Uh, we, almost, we almost never use alcohol on anything. And then I'll just flip it over. And I'm using super light pressure here, guys. I barely touch this paint. All right, so Reddy's gonna make sure we don't have any oil or waxes or remnants of the polish or so forth and so on in the paint before we apply the ceramic coating so the ceramic coating will adhere the best as it can and if you recall from our other videos the one thing i always tell people to do is dust the top of it off with one side of the applicator especially if it's not a new bottle if you have any crystallization blow it out you know do that all right then we're ready to go <clears throat> so 10 to 15 drops for the first application is typically what we want to see so I'll kind of go up and down, you know, a couple rows, maybe a little bit, probably closer to 15 uh, if you're using one of these big ones. And then just like the other ones, we want to start in the center of a panel, not on the edge. If we do the edge and we got a bunch of buildup here, you know, you're going to run out over here, but be heavily concentrated right here. And all we need is a uh, even coverage, right? So I got my applicator primed. I'm going to start here because I'm only going to probably do half this hood and I'm going to look at the time. Now I get this kind of on there the first at first and I get it kind of spread. And then I start, I was like, okay, I need to get a 30% overlap. And you can cross hatch this. I know in the past we talked at SB3 about not cross hatching, but you can cross hatch, but you get a 30, about a 30% overlap in coverage. Again, we just need to make sure we have that coverage and I'm keeping an eye on the time. It's only been, it's been about 45 seconds. So remember I told you about 60 to 90 seconds. We just hit 60. So I got my auto fiber quadrant wipe, which I can never get right the first time. Okay, so it tells me what number I'm on. And light pressure guys, light pressure. We don't want to defeat the purpose of having all this perfect paint by scratching it. Okay, see I got my first wipe, now I'm gonna flip it over. And this helps because it reminds me what I'm on. So I was at one and now I'm at three, uh, position on the towel that is. And this is just like kind of a second wipe insurance, if you will.
All right, so that's half a hood. All right, guys, that's a simple process for SB3 Alpha. Um, up to two minutes for flash time, just keep that in mind. But as anything, that's just a general guideline. Look for that rainbow and adjust to your conditions. If you wanna layer this, wait two to four hours. So if you wanna put Omega on top of Alpha, have that Omega, or you wanna layer another layer of Alpha, wait that two to four hours. And uh, it's a great coating, it's easy to level, it's easy to wipe off, it makes the finish look great. Uh, that's why we use it for our five-year coatings, all of our five-year coatings, SB3 Alpha.